Hi there. This is Burl Smith, your television traveler, inviting you to come along as we go once more in search of that which is interesting and exciting. Behind the Spanish crossbow and this bit of Indian pottery lies a story which starts with the longest bridge in the world. Sunshine Skyway near St. Petersburg, Florida. A magnificent 15-mile crossing consisting of many miles of hydraulic fill and five miles of bridges. This Sunshine Skyway connects St. Petersburg with the area to the south, making it the vital pleasure of the historic west coast of Florida. This bridge spans one of the most historic bodies of water in America. At one time, this bay was known only to the Indians, who took an entire day to make the crossing in their dugout canoes. Today, travelers cross these historic waters in a few minutes. Who are these modern adventurers? Where do they come from? Where are they going? What does this new artery of activity mean to the people who use it? To this couple from New England coming to spend the winter in St. Petersburg. To this family from the Midwest on a two-week vacation. To this local businessman or to these folks from New York enjoying a leisurely holiday. The convenience of the new Sunshine Skyway means extra hours of pleasure in St. Petersburg, the Sunshine City, where they can enjoy the winter sun. Sungate Bridge enables this family to get to their destination more quickly, St. Petersburg's famous Gulf Beaches. It helps the businessman cut travel time and make more appointments. The bridge itself is a playground to these folks who take all day to cross it, stopping to enjoy the miles of white sand beaches along the road. Everyone is invited to use the picnic grounds along the Skyway, to go fishing here, swimming or just sunbathing. These youngsters have fun digging in the white sands. These are historic sands, and in the past, pirates who knew these waters buried their ill-gotten treasure on these shores. Today, the waters around the bridge abound with activity. The sport of underwater exploring is opening a wonderful new world to many. Building the bridge, many tons of sand were moved. And if you're really lucky, you might discover an exciting vacation souvenir churned up in this dredging operation. An Indian arrowhead, an ancient reminder of the historic past. For here, the Indians once lived. tropical land gave them crops. 
their stone arrowheads brought down game. Their simple wants were fulfilled by their crops and by the game. And the Indians lived peacefully in their villages for untold centuries until coming of the Spanish conquistadores. They came speaking a strange tongue. Searching for gold. For slaves. Burning and pillaging. One day, over 300 years ago, a lone Spaniard came ashore, not seeking gold, but on a mission to seek information of his countrymen who had come here before him. His name was Juan Ortiz, and at that moment he was the only white man in America. One man against the wilderness. Ortiz was brought before the Indian chief Ira Igwa. And condemned to the stake. As the fire burned, the daughter of Ira Igwa looked upon Ortiz, and filled with compassion, she begged her father to spare this man. Ira Igwa granted her wish, and Ortiz became a member of the tribe. This was the first time such an incident had occurred in America, for Ortiz met his princess in the early 16th century, fully 50 years before Pocahontas and Captain John Smith were born. The Sunshine Skyway now spans the waters from which Ortiz went ashore and met his princess. Some travelers across these historic waters come to spend days at the Skyway. A few feet from the toll booth, they find modern motels offering all facilities. While staying here, it's a simple matter to visit an historic island a short distance from the Skyway. Only a few minutes by boat to Mutt Key, a county park with miles of lovely beaches. With a miniature railroad circling the island, Yes, this is a delightful vacation spot. Once, it was an important fortification in America's defense system. A vacationing Coast Guardsman isn't the first military man to come here. In 1849, Lieutenant Colonel Robert E. Lee selected this site for fortification. But even Lieutenant Colonel Lee wasn't the first soldier to come to Mullet Key. Juan Ponce de Leon came ashore at Mullet Key. However, even he wasn't the first, for the very first fighting men here were the Indians.
Dante. <laughs> Indian arrows and the Indian spears were no match for the Spanish crossbows and the Spanish firearms. So the Indians were driven back. One Spanish soldier was lost here, the first white soldier to fall in North America. Ponte de Leon and his men went away, leaving the island more to the red men. Sunny Skyway, the highway in the sky, spanning one of the most historic bodies of water in America. You can almost reach out and touch history, for history has been here before you, and the ghosts remain. Indians, pirates, and Spaniards, Ponte de Leon, Navarrete, de Soto, and others. Many thousands of tourists come to these historic waters to cross the longest bridge in the world, a bridge which makes it even easier to go to St. Petersburg, Florida, the friendly sunshine city. Here you can enjoy the winter sun as you relax on the green benches and frolic on the famous Gulf beaches. Go aqualonging. Go fishing. And boating. An exciting place to visit and a difficult place to leave. But leave we must as Burl Smith, your television traveler, says so long and continues his search to find for you the interesting and exciting throughout the world.